Statesboro Bureau, the city of Statesboro gearing up for another year of growth. The city is finalizing the budget and WSAV's Eden Hodges spoke to the city manager who says they're looking at different ways to fund it. The city is trying to decide how to fund the last chunk of next year's budget. The city manager tells me that we have three choices. We can raise the millage rate, we could take from our rainy day savings, or we could start cutting personnel. The city's proposed $53 million budget requires $1.7 million more dollars to make it happen. City Manager Charles Penny says the best option is raising the millage rate one point. We're very conscious that people don't like to see increased costs. Uh, and so that's why we, we try to minimize rate increases or tax increases. The proposed budget doesn't include any new major changes. Penny tells me that they're mostly trying to maintain the operations they already had, now factoring in pay increases for city employees added in January and an increased city fire fund. And some people will talk about, well, well, you need to cut, cut some stuff. Well, the only way to cut this budget would mean cutting personnel. And, and if we cut personnel, then the services that citizens currently enjoy would also be impacted. Raising the millage one point would bring property taxes up. If your home costs $200,000, you could pay $78 more per year. Our other option would be to take the money out of the fund balance, which the council likes to save for a rainy day. If we had uh, a hurricane that tore up our city, we'd need to have cash flow so that we could help put our city back together until we got a federal designation that provided us some funds. If it's what the council decides, the millage rate wouldn't go up until September. The city has to wait for the current tax digest to come out.